Alright, what's going on guys? We just got to say right here. Um, round 25 playing solo on the uh, new zombie map, Shangri-La, from the uh, Annihilation DLC. Uh, round 25, like I said, and um, I know PS3 gets it uh, a month later, so, but uh, if you do have an Xbox and you're debating on getting this, definitely do. It is definitely a small, tight, difficult map, but it um, it's it's not it's not in a bad way. It's uh, it's very fair. It's got good guns. New wonder weapon right here. They gave it a pretty uh, forgettable name, something like the 31 JGB 25 or something. It's not upgraded. Called the fractalizer when it is. But anyways, it's a great map. Um, like I said, round 25 solo right now. Just gonna show you uh, my route here. Hopefully I don't die soon. I've gone down twice. It is one of those maps where you can't just can't go on forever. Sometimes uh, zombies uh, get you in the right spot and you you go down. Um, it's not like Kino. We have the Zeus cannon. The fractalizer is good, and I think it's perfectly fair. It's not. It, it doesn't guarantee you uh, anything to get away. You still have to run through zombies. It's not too powerful, although it does have a lot of ammunition. But anyways, you start up here for the uh, strategy, get them to spawn up here. Um, zombies don't predict your next move, as everybody knows, they run straight to you. So until you, right when you cross this line, you go down the slide, they won't start spawning down there, so you'll be alright. So now they're going to start spawning, but that's alright, I'll still have time. And, uh, come around here. And, uh, one of those, do not look, I mean, you can look back. But don't don't try and shoot. Don't slow down. Do not sprint either. You really, this is I couldn't describe it any better, and it couldn't be any easier. Just to keep this exact pace of a uh, walking speed with your ray gun or fractalizer or whatever. I mean, as like as you can see now, that's usually the hard part to get through. I might want to hold up a little bit here, cause. But don't whatever you do. Second most important part: don't kill zombies till you're uh, past this. This is the tightest part of the map, and. Uh, you really gotta watch that because we'll start uh, spawning ahead of you up here. And try and stick here for a sec before you go up there, or else it'll start spawning behind you when you uh, throw your fractalizer at him. I don't want to try and be too greedy. I try and just get what I can and then get out of there because they're gonna start spawning behind me as you see. Jump through there, get as much of a running start. And uh, don't forget you have PhD. I was gonna try it there, but I failed. That's the spot where it works. PhD, people forget the second purpose. Mainly for the ray gun to not splash in your face and hurt yourself when you're in a jam. But, uh, like I said, don't wait. Even that small hesitation could cost you. I usually keep my fractalizer out. It's a little better. It can be out of the jam quick. Both of them are upgraded. I just upgraded my fractalizer uh, last round. My shrink ray, baby gun, whatever you guys want to call it. But this is the route. The most uh, important choke points, like right there. They come through that hole a lot. Because when you cross, they start running. That hole goes to the spawn, so they, once you go down that slide, they head towards the spawn and go down that uh, hole. They throw on the mud room and they go towards that. Um, as you guys can see, they're uh, pretty far behind me. It happens sometimes, but just don't, don't get, try not to get caught up in it too much. Like I said, stick here as long as you can. Napalms, don't shoot, don't do anything. Shrink ray, I guess you can use it if you want. All you need to do, get in proximity and uh, light them up. I know you didn't hear the uh, sound of that, but I ran by and people up. You really do have to be really close, but as long as you keep sprinting, don't uh, mess around, check and I'll get you through that. This is what I've uh, been doing. It's, it's, it's actually only around 26, so there's actually not too many waves. I maybe go around five, six times a map, which isn't that big comparable to Kino or Call of the Dead or any of those maps you can really run around. It's like I said, it's hard, but it's a, it's a fair map, and it just... <laughs> I don't mind it because it saves you some time, you know, you don't have to spend five hours to set a good score, you know, 30 is going to be a good score on this map, whatever it is. Um, so, like I said, don't try not to wait too much. I can hear him real far behind me. I know there's uh, no sound because I have a headset, but, uh, here I could turn it up for you guys here, let's see. Um, the headset does help to hear the zombies, obviously, but, uh, just running this strategy, and I'm not going to be able to show you. See, there's not enough, so I don't make that. It's my uh, fractalizer. It's like a nice line. 
like I said, only shoot there. Um, if you get a power up, you almost every out every time when I take max ammo, so you're gonna need it. And uh, as you can see, I'm not low on points. I don't need double points. I don't need extra points. I don't need to kill for anything. Um, monkey bombs. Use all three if you have to. You're gonna get a max ammo. Just throw them. Uh, I'll show you when I go around next time. Throw them up right after that uh, red fire cave. Let them kind of go back there. Wait for the monkey. The power up should be on the bridge if that's where you shot him. And uh, just go attack. Go uh, use all three monkey bombs if you have to. You're gonna get a max ammo. You know it's gonna be important. I'm not too low on my ray gun. I have about 120 bullets left total. Practical is good, but uh. Ammo is obviously always an important thing. At the worst, I have to keep box buying and swap on my ray gun, trying to get a new one. Um, but right here is where you throw the monkey bomb in that corner. Probably the best spot to head back. Let's pick up the power up over somewhere in here. When it is, when it is um, started. Sometimes the mud will pinch you, sometimes they come small angle, but you might have to trust the shifting wall. I'm not going to go on it now. Two out of three times, more than probably two out of three times, just three exits, but sometimes it takes you back, as many of you would know, it takes you back where you came from. Sometimes you might get screwed there, went down there once, but nothing's worse than going in that mud trying to fight off ten zombies while you're walking at a one mile an hour trying to get away from your rig gun or whatever or whatnot. Your baby gun's not useful because you can't run over them. Uh, sometimes you gotta trust them if they take you the right way, you know, to your uh, to the slide. Good. If they take you to quicker ride, you're still fine. I'm not gonna get to show it, but if they take you to quicker ride, just run. I mean, the quicker ride side, like spawn. You know, the opposite side, straight across from it. Takes you there, just keep running, go straight to the minecart. Go to the other side of the spikes and to the left, so you all know where the uh, minecart is. Um, and just hold that off as long as you can. Kind of let them pile up there, because as you know, the minecart leads back to the waterfall. And that's kind of where you came from. So you want to try and get them all over there as much as you can. The, the two, the slide and the waterfall, take it opposite sides, as you guys know. I'm use my ray gun too. Um, and uh, moving walls. So just gotta get these signs up there. That's uh pretty much it, guys. I've uh, just been doing this for a couple of times. Like I said, it doesn't take a lifetime to do this. You gotta have a little patience. Definitely have the uh, string ray and ray gun. That's fun. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, I'm gonna have an update video uh, how far I get when I die. I just wanted to show my strategy and whatnot. So, uh, please subscribe if you can. And, uh, favorite and like the video. Thanks.